What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial today I am going to show you how to create an NPC level pop-up so you can see the NPC's level right above his head in 3D. It's going to be a very easy view to follow so let's get started. But first check out my new Unreal Engine 5 course with Game Dev TV on how to make a full stealth assassin game with blueprints. You will learn how to make a whole bunch of different mechanics that will turn you into a pro Unreal game developer. This course will supply you with all the resources and assets that you will need. So you can check it out right now through the link in the description. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is quickly, you know, create my NPC. In my case, it's going to be very simple. So I'm going to create a blueprint class, which is going to be type character. And let's name this something as BP underscore NPC. And I'm just going to go ahead and just add a mesh over here, which will be something as the uh, mannequin. So for example, man is simple. I'm going to put him in position. And there we go. Good. And also abp money so he has some animation so this will be my npc of course there's no you know big behavior in it okay just a simple character just waiting you know there <laughs> and of course you could apply this npc level pop-up that we are creating today into your existing uh, npc that you have all right so now that we have the npc set up to be you know able to have something on let's create the ui itself okay the interface which will appear at the head with you know level 28 whatever so let's right click create a new user interface so widget blueprint user widget let's call this something as i will be of you know widget blueprint underscore and then something as you know level uh, pop up right and then let's go ahead and open this widget and the first thing that we need to do is add a canvas panel to the screen that way you can add things and then we're gonna go ahead and just drag a text and put it at the center of the screen so if you just open the anchors drop down we can select the middle of the screen and i'm gonna put the position x and y on zero zero so we'll be centered with the alignment of 0.5 and 0.5 so even more centered and then just increase the size a little bit maybe like you know yeah 300 and uh, 100 right and then we're gonna go ahead and also center the justification of the text block itself and then let's write like a preview of you know level uh, 15 right imagine now of course this would be updated with a variable but you get the idea is to preview this on our widget so we get the idea of what this text does and let's also just decrease a bit the size so it's even more centered and boom here we go so with that said now um, you know we have our ui created uh, we can now add this into our npc how well, if we go back to the blueprint with the mesh selected, uh, well, actually the capsule component because we want to add it to the parent, we can add this widget component. And this widget can be called something as the, you know, level, uh, let me write this correctly, level pop-up, okay, not in all caps, <laughs> level pop-up widget. And now in the details panel with that selected, we can select what class, which is the one that we have just created of level pop-up and you can see we have it here so what we're going to do is just increase this sorry increase not but <laughs> pull it up until the kind of the character's head and i'm gonna just uh, you know click on this lock on the skill and put it to be a bit smaller like maybe point you know five i think that it will be pretty nice okay with that said we have it there if i now go and press play you can see that it is there in 3d but we encounter the first problem, and it is that it is always looking at the same direction. So we move, you know, we lose our uh, widget. So for this, what we're going to do is change the space from world to screen. And now in the viewport, we will not see it. But when we press play, as you can see now, it is there, okay? It is locked on, and we can turn around, and it will always be there. Because it isn't existing in a, a you know, 3D space, kind of, is more of in the screen. So with that said, um it is here and the only thing that we need to do is update that value depending on the level of the npc so what i am going to do is create a new variable on the npc which will be something as the you know uh, current level right of this npc and let me set this variable type to be an integer so now i can just put the level of this npc to be you know a 20 uh, two for example or you know 27 whatever you prefer and then we're gonna make sure that we click expose on spawn uh, sorry, expose on spawn now, but instance editable, which you can also enable by clicking this I. So now this variable is also public here 
uh, in the you know details panel of the blueprint if we go down if we go level you can also change it here which is pretty you know nice and then i'm gonna go back to the level pop-up select the text and let's bind the text okay so we'll create a binding so basically we'll be constantly updating this text value you know to whatever we want what will be well it will be this npc right so the first thing that we need to do is get a reference to the npc now uh, there's no way of doing get owner right and getting the NPC or something like that So what we need to do is just create a new variable over here Okay, and this will be called something as uh, owner uh, Blueprint right and now we can set this type to be BP underscore NPC All right object reference and now yes, we can drag our owner blueprint and just go ahead and say get level so we're getting the uh, level variable so we need to go down remember it isn't that level it is this one which is our variable okay so scroll down make sure that it is an integer and then we just want to you know drag this in but if we do that we would only see the level number and not level space the number so to basically add also level at the start what we can do is use this very useful node which is the format text so in here we can write in all caps level Write a space and then add this, you know, a uh, squiggly bracket and just put here a uh, level, right? And this is basically gonna be the parameter. So, whatever is in these brackets, it will add it as a variable, let's say, right, an input, and we can just drag that there. So, at the end, it will have level, space, and whatever is in here, which is the level number. So, let me now go ahead and just move this onto here. There we go. Nice and neat, compile, save, and close. But of course, right now this variable is empty. So we need to, you know, fill it in. How? Well, in the NPC, on the uh, begin play, we're gonna get our level pop up widget that we added before. Basically, now we need to, we cannot just say get, um, well, in this case, set uh, owner, right, uh, player, whatever we, blueprint, whatever variable we created. What we need to do is get the uh, widget. Uh, class using this widget node, okay, and then cast to the level pop up. All right, and now, yes, because we are accessing the class, we can you know set the uh, owner blueprint variable, okay, like so. And what will this variable be? Well, of course, it will be self because it's a reference to this blueprint itself. And now, yes, as you can see, when I press play, boom, level 27, as you can see. So that's it guys, if you found this tutorial helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials, so check them out. Remember to have full access to the product file through Patreon and YouTube members, so link in the description. Uh, join my Discord server to talk with me and other devs. Check out my new course with Game Dev TV and how to make a game in Unreal. Follow me on my socials. And now yes, with all that said, bye bye.